Psychotronic Warfare and Radionics by Lawrence Wilson, Maryland, January 2014, The Center for Development. Psychotronics or Psi Warfare is the use of electronic machines to send beams of energy or frequencies directly to people's brains and bodies through the air. This is the new stealth warfare. It is inexpensive and simple, and often hard to detect and defeat. The same method is used, at times, to brainwash people to believe certain information and not other information by making subtle suggestions to them via electronic beams or frequencies. For much more about brainwashing and hypnosis, please read Hypnosis and Brainwashing on this website. The science of psychotronics was developed over 100 years ago on Earth, but has probably been used for much longer than that. The basic principles that are used are sometimes referred to as radionics. Radionics Radionics is a method of transmitting energy, messages and even material items using mainly very high frequency currents at very low voltages. It is quite an amazing science that seems to defy the laws of physics. It can act at a distance, it can act almost instantaneously, and it affects the human brain, in particular, in unusual ways. It is, in fact, an etheric science, which means it uses laws of physics that have not been fully discovered and researched at this time. The ether is the substance that fills all space and all time. Etheric sciences are discussed in a number of articles on this website that are listed under the heading of spiritual development. This article, however, has to do with an abuse of etheric energy for negative purposes to harm others. Radionics and psychotronics can be used for healing. This is quite important to know. The purpose of this article is not to say that radionics or even psychotronics are bad. However, the main uses of these sciences at this time are as weapons, often called psi weapons. For example, one can broadcast frequencies that kill germs, stop cancers, calm the nervous system, reduce fear and so on. However, the same principles can and are being used to make people angry, incite violence, discourage people sicken people, to oppose freedom and justice, and for many other negative purposes on planet Earth. They are used by governments, as well as by other rogue groups that seek to control us. Radionic methods are very powerful and can affect an entire nation at once. Unlike regular radio or television transmissions, radionic signals can affect millions of people all at once. They travel right through mountains, houses, and even bomb shelters. The high frequency waves travel through water easily, as well. For this reason, radionics is actually used, at times, to communicate with submarines because radio is not nearly as effective underwater. The waves also travel around the world and even through the earth from one side to the other. This is how penetrating these frequencies are. They are not really radio waves at all, though we can refer to them as waves. They are ripples in the ether or base material from which all matter is made. This is why they can penetrate anything material or physical, and do so almost instantaneously. How to fight back against psi weapons? We are all exposed to psi weapons and psi warfare today. It is unavoidable. Understanding it better can help you to be less affected. Here are some principles to help this effort. 1. Psi weapons work best on weak minds. This means it works best on people who are already somewhat confused, mixed up and not sure of their principles. Therefore, be careful with your thoughts and feelings. Becoming a Christian, for example, can help a lot to reduce the effects of some psi warfare. The reason is that Christianity gives you a set of beliefs and a positive direction in life to help others and not to resent or commit violence. This can help you evaluate unwanted thoughts and let them go harmlessly. 2. Psychotronics works best on sick bodies. It does not work nearly as well on healthy people. Perhaps for this reason, a properly designed nutritional balancing program is extremely helpful to overcome the effects of psychotronic warfare. This program will replenish hundreds of nutrients in the body, which enables the brain to function better. This can only be done by eating loads of cooked, and not raw vegetables. Please see the articles on this site about nutritional balancing for more information. Other healing methods may not work as well, perhaps because they do not work as deeply. 3. 
the yin body is also more susceptible to radionic attacks. This is a very important principle. Part of nutritional balancing is to correct an imbalance in the bodies of most people that is called the yin condition. Yin means expanded, centrifugal in direction, feminine, weak and often very ill. To correct it, we use one cooked food, two eating some cooked meat daily, three very few and very targeted supplements only, four only one type of meditative exercise that makes the body more yang, and five the use of detoxification methods that make the body more yang, such as coffee enemas and the near infrared lamp sauna only. Other ways to make the body more yang are to avoid drinking reverse osmosis, distilled or alkaline water, avoid sex more than once a week, do not take many baths, stay out of victim thinking, and do not spend too much time on a cell phone or sitting close to a computer. Also, avoid most meditation exercises. Also, one must avoid all sugars, including most fruit and all fruit juices, and one must avoid alcohol, most medical drugs, and chemicals in the food. Vegetarians, and those who eat a lot of fruit and other raw food, as a rule, are much too yin and therefore more subject to this kind of mental poisoning. For more on this, read Yin and Yang Healing. 4. Toxin removal is also very helpful. Near-infrared sauna therapy and coffee enemas appear helpful as they can make the body more yang and help remove large quantities of poisons from the body in ways that other therapies I have seen cannot do. Removing toxic metals and toxic chemicals seems to weaken radionic effects. It appears that radionic and psychotronic methods act upon or through toxic metals in the body. As the body lightens up by removing these metals, it is far less subject to these effects. Correcting the toxic metal problem, which affects everyone today, is central to nutritional balancing science. To learn about how to remove toxic metals, read toxic metals on this site. No chelation therapy of any kind, incidentally, appears much less effective against psi weapons than nutritional balancing. I am not sure why this is so, but it may be because it damages the body slightly. Please read chelation therapy on this website. In summary, the only defense against psychotronic warfare is to know about it, guard your thoughts, improve your health and make the body more yin in Chinese medical terminology. If you do this you will be less subject to the subliminal messages and rather dangerous and horribly negative post-hypnotic suggestions that are broadcast everywhere these days. What to do with this understanding? Ignorance is a key to the success of psychotronics. While it may seem like a scary subject, one need not be afraid. Like some other secret weapons, this one depends upon your ignorance of it for it to be very effective. Once you have read and understood this short article, you are already less subject to this particular form of warfare against your mind. The key is read and learn and question everything. This way, if your thoughts are not really your own, you will check what you are thinking with sources that you trust, hopefully including this website. If what is written here does not agree with your thoughts, you will then question the source of your thoughts, knowing that others can implant suggestions in your mind subliminally and quite powerfully if they so desire. This is not science fiction, but it is the reality today. Resources An excellent resource is the Electronic Frontier Foundation at www.f.org web link.